1.11 Lesson 1.6 Vocabulary for Speaking Types of Learner Exercise B1 Cover the text at the bottom of the page. Look at Figure 1. Listen. How do you learn? If you like pictures, graphs and charts, you're probably a visual learner. Visual means of the eyes. If you like talking about new information with your friends, you're probably an oral learner. Oral means of the ears. If you like using the library and the internet to find new information, you're probably a read-write learner. In other words, you need to read things or write them to remember them. If you like to move around when you're studying, you're probably a kinesthetic learner. Kinesthetic means of feeling and movement. Finally, if you like to do two or more of these things, you are probably a multi-mode learner. Mode means method or way of doing something, and multi means many. 60 to 70 percent of learners are multi-mode. 1.12 Exercise C2 Listen again to the first paragraph. How do you learn? If you like pictures, graphs and charts, you're probably a visual learner. Visual means of the eyes. 1.13 Lesson 1.7 Real-time speaking The visual learner According to the Institute for Learning Styles Research, there are seven types of learning style. Today I'm going to talk about one of the seven types, the visual learner. How does the visual learner prefer to learn? How can the visual learner improve learning efficiency? I'll mention some learning preferences and make some recommendations in each case. Firstly, visual learners need to see written text, so they should make notes of lectures. They could draw diagrams and make flowcharts from the notes. Secondly, they remember visual information. Therefore, they should make flashcards of words. They could test themselves or put the flashcards on walls of their bedroom. Thirdly, visual learners like colour, so therefore, they should use colour for their notes. They could use colour pens during the lecture or they could mark the text later with circles, underlining and highlighting. Finally, visual learners don't like noise. Therefore, they should not listen to music while they are studying. They should work in a quiet place. So, to sum up, I have explained some of the learning preferences of visual learners. And I have also made you some recommendations to improve learning efficiency. If you are a visual learner, try some of the ideas which I have suggested. 1.14 Everyday English Making Friends Exercise B2 Listen and complete the conversations. 1. What course are you doing? Environmental Science. Is that a BSc? Yes, it's three years full-time. 2. Are you staying on campus? Yes, I'm in the halls of residence. It's really good. Are the rooms shared or single? They're all single study bedrooms. 3. Have you been into town yet? No, not yet. Have you? I'm going today. I've got a map here. Oh, great. Can I come with you? 4. Have you met your tutor? Yes, I went to her office yesterday. What's her name? I've forgotten, but she seems really nice. 5. How long have you been here? I arrived on Sunday by train. You? I've been here for a week. 
so you know your way around then. 6. When are your lectures? I've got five hours a week on three days. My lectures are on Monday and Friday. Oh, that means no long weekends for you then. Yes, it's a bit annoying. 1.15 Lesson 1.8 Learning new speaking skills Giving a short talk Pronunciation check Pat, pot Pet, pert Pit, peat Pot, port. Put, put. Pout, pate. 1.16. Lesson 1.9. Grammar for speaking. Should, could, so, because. Grammar Box 3. Visual learners should make notes of all lectures. They could draw diagrams. They could make flowcharts. 1.17 Grammar Box 4 Visual learners need to see written text, so they should make notes of lectures. Because visual learners need to see written text, they should make notes of lectures. Visual learners should make notes of lectures because they need to see written text.